Hello ladies and gentlemen, Lazarus here, and welcome to the first episode of Skyrim. Let's play all the mods. Obviously, not literally all the mods, but there are 249 ESPs loaded. ESPs, ESMs, whatever. So, it is indeed a heavily modded game. Uh, I guess we're going to call this episode zero here, because I want to just do a little introduction to the series and what it's going to be all about. Um, if you're not interested in that sort of thing, you know, mod setup and such, I guess you can just jump to episode one. And uh, if not, and you really enjoy hearing my lovely voice, then uh, stay with us. This won't be too long. But um, yeah, as I was saying, this is a heavily modded Let's Play. It's going to be based loosely upon the step Skyrim configuration. If you're not familiar with it, just Google step .t .p, and uh, you'll see a lovely site, a wiki that will give you instructions on how you can best mod your game to have you know, uh, minimal crashes and disasters on your setup path. Uh, I personally spent uh, quite a few hours configuring this, so it's certainly a time investment to get the game working in such a manner. But um, a few of the things that you're going to be seeing here, uh, just a little introduction to the mods we're going to be using. Uh, we have, of course, all of the standard DLCs, Hearthfire, Dragonborn, and Dawnguard, and uh, what I would like to consider the three user-built DLCs, that's Moon Path to Elsewhere, uh, be heading down to Elsewhere, Deserts, Jungles, Cat People, good stuff there, Falscar, and Wormstooth. Uh, in terms of realism mods, we'll be using Realistic Needs and Diseases, and Frostfall, so uh, need to be camping, keep warm out in the woods, need to eat, drink, and sleep, that sort of thing for an immersive experience. Um, we have several spell mods loaded up. This character here, her name is Ashizara. Oh, screen spinning. Lovely. But, um, yeah, spell mods. Uh, Apocalypse Spell Pack, a personal favorite. Certainly adds a lot more uh, color and more colorful magic to the, uh, the rather bland spell system of Skyrim. I, I felt as the Elder Scrolls series has gone on, they've really kind of dumped down the magic system, I suppose. Uh, as for an, uh, general overhauls, we are using Skyrim Redone, as opposed to, say, Requiem. That's my personal favorite. I don't have much experience with Re Requiem, but, and um, I think that there's just more support out there for compatibility using Skyrim, so we're going to be using that. Um, there's also the Reprocker patches for it, so you can get compatibility. So a lot of new items that are going to be in play, some immersive weapons, immersive armors, and that sort of thing. Um, as for what we're going to be doing with this character, it's going to be, uh, there'll be some role playing. Um, obviously, I am not a woman, so I really will not be able to be staying in character. So I won't really be being in character, but it, it is going to be sort of a role playing experience. Uh, we're probably going to be running with a spell sword type of character. Wow, that's, that's enough of the spinning skip room. Get another look at her lovely face. But, um, yeah, you're going to be running with a spell sword. Uh, you really need to mix and match your, uh, your styles and techniques when you have this many mods because the game does become very difficult. We're going to be playing on ADEP difficulty, and, you know, if that's, you know, if I start feeling a little too OP, then we'll crank up the difficulty as, you know, as we see fit. But uh, for the time being, we're going to go with ADEPT because that means that there are no modifiers in play. Everything is. Basically, when you change the difficulty in Skyrim, all that it really does is it starts setting multipliers on things like enemy health and enemy damage. So right now we're going to start with all of those multipliers just being zero, you know, the game having its default standard stats. And uh, there are... combat should still be fairly difficult, especially as compared to the vanilla game, because we're using Asus, uh, to increase spawns, enemies will have modded spells, enemies will have modded perks, uh, the, we're using the monster mod and immersive creatures, so um, we should be seeing some interesting stuff as we head out into the field. Uh, now, I, I've rambled on long enough here, so um, that, that'll conclude our introduction, and uh, join me in episode one, and we're going to pick a starting life for Ashazara. That's, um, we're using alternate life, uh, alternate start, live another life. Uh, if you're not familiar with that mod, it gives you a whole bunch of different introductions introductions to choose from. So uh, we'll be choosing our destiny, essentially, at the foot of the Statue of Mara right here in front of us. So um, uh, that'll do it for our introduction, and I will see you guys soon. Thank you very much.